investigate. Fox 8 News starts now. Good evening, I'm Lee Zurich. And I'm Shelley Brown. After several Fox 8 investigations about a manufacturing plant putting residents at risk, the federal government announces a timetable to get the plant to reduce its chemical emissions. Yeah, the Environmental Protection Agency labeled the Danka performance uh, facility as putting those who live nearby at the highest risk for developing cancer in the nation. Ryan Nakin has more on the work going forward. St. John the Baptist residents complain the emissions coming from the Dinka manufacturing plant damages their quality of life. We run inside and turn off the AC and huddle and wait for it to clear, hopefully that it will not really knowing exactly what it is. Residents fear the chemical emission chloroprene and what it may be doing to their health. The EPA says the chloroprene emissions coming from the plant put residents who live nearby at the highest risk of developing cancer in the nation. And now the federal government has a clear plan on getting Denka to reduce its emissions. The majority of the emission reductions could happen in the next 12 to 18 months. Dinka, the EPA, and the Louisiana Department of Environmental Quality say Dinka will go through a four-step process costing millions to reduce its chloroprene emissions by 85% by the end of 2017. I think the 85% is a good start, but it's not going to get them to the 0 0.2 micrograms per meter cube. Environmentalist Wilma Subra believes the reductions don't go far enough even with Dinka operating within all state and federal guidelines and laws. You have to remember that these releases have been going on for 47 years, and until March of this year, we didn't have actual data in the residential areas, in the Laplace area, the reserve area. And so they're suddenly looking at that and saying, why didn't anyone protect us before now? Dinka purchased the plant from DuPont in November last year, just a few days before the EPA released its study on cancer risk across the nation. Now in 2010, the EPA reclassified chloroprene as a likely carcinogen.